Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to our technical English lesson for grade 11. Our lesson today is uses part 1 from unit 5 descriptions on page 36 of the course book. In this lesson, we have three objectives. Number one, match four unusual tools and machines with their descriptions after reading the advertisement of the tools. Number two, identify tools after listening to the description of their uses in a dialogue. And the final objective is complete three dialogues with phrases that describe use after listening to three inventors talking about their inventions. Now, before we start, let's take a look at some words we will come across in this lesson. Number one, vehicle. You meet. Leads. Roadside assistance. Subject. And the last word is electronic tag. Now let's take a look at them one by one. Look at this picture. What do the things have in common? Excellent. They all can be used to take people or things from place to place. They are vehicles. The vehicle is a machine with an engine that is used to take people or things from place to place, especially on land. For example, cars, bicycles, lorries, and buses. Now, moving on to our next word. What can you see here? You can see that the chimneys are sending out smoke. We can say that the chimneys are emitting smoke. Emit means to send out gas, heat, light, sound, etc. For example, the machine emits a beeping sound when you press the button. Good. Now, moving on to our next word. Jump leads. What would you do if your car won't start because the battery is flat? You would probably need jump leads to recharge the batteries in order to start the car. These are jump leads. They are thick wires that are used for recharging a battery in a motor vehicle by connecting it to the battery in another. Moving on, we have roadside assistance. What can you see in the pictures? Great. You can see mechanics fixing different issues in cars by the roadside. They are providing roadside assistance. 
roadside assistance is a service that assists you when your vehicle suffers from a mechanical breakdown on the road. The services may include battery breakdown service, flat tire replacement, towing, or providing fuel. Now, moving on to our next word. What are these? They are circuits. A circuit is the part of a piece of equipment, especially electrical equipment, into which another part fits. Moving on to our next word, we have electronic tag. These are electronic tags. An electronic tag is an electronic device that is attached to a person, animal, or object so that people can know where they are. Great. Now, let's quickly check our understanding of uh, the vocabulary. Complete the sentences with the words in the box. We have one vehicle, a meat, and socket. And the sentences we have the air freshener plugs into a car's lighter. Okay. Ahmed can drive almost any kind of space. The machine space a beeping sound when you press the button. Now pause the video and give it a try. Good. Now let's check the answers. Number one is socket logs into a socket. Ahmed can drive vehicle. The machine, of course, emits a beeping sound when you press the button. Now we are ready for our first task. First, I want you to pause the video and think about, think of some tools or devices you use. And then think about what you use them for and why they are useful. Take a minute and think about the tools and devices you use and think about what you use them for and why they are useful. Great. Now open your course books to page 36. Look at the objects in this picture. What do you think they are for? And how do they work? Take a minute, look at the pictures, and see if you can identify what they are for and how they work. Okay, now you are going to read the advertisement about the objects. And the task is to match each advert to the object in the pictures. So read these advertisements and match the objects with their descriptions. 
So you have the advertisement here and the object here. You read and match. Now pause the video and do the task. Write the letters under the numbers. Go. Now let's check the answers. Number one, C, two, three, and the last one. Very good. Now let's move on to our next task, which is listening. Listen to these inventors answering questions about their inventions. Identify the inventions. Now, we're still on page 36 of the course book. You will hear three inventors answering questions about their inventions from task two. Your task is to identify the inventions by writing the correct numbers here. Now listen and do the task. Unit 5. Descriptions. Recording 13. A. So tell me about your invention. What's it for? It's for finding lost items. B. OK, and what about this device? What's it used for? It's used for charging a flat battery from inside the car. C. Tell me about this invention. What can it be used for? You can use it to move quickly over and under water. Great. Now let's check the answers. A is four, two, and three. Great. Now, moving on to our last task, still on page 36 of the course book, it's also listening. Listen again and complete the dialogues. You are going to listen to the same recording and complete these dialogues. Now, listen. Unit 5. Descriptions. Recording 13. A. So tell me about your invention. What's it for? It's for finding lost items. B. OK, and what about this device? What's it used for? It's used for charging a flat battery from inside the car. C. Tell me about this invention. What can it be used for? You can use it to move quickly over and under water. Very good. Now let's check the answers. Number one, for finding lost items. Number two, used for charging a flat battery from inside the car. And the last one, you can use it to move quickly over and under water. You will notice that these are different ways to describe use. For finding lost ice stems, used for charging, you can use it to move. They are all ways to describe use. In our next class, we will look at 
different ways to describe uses and functions. This is the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.